world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today we are doing a fun knife Friday. Okay, so we're going to start with this. This is a fun knife, but it's not our knife. Then we're going to look at something bigger. This is a fun knife, bit bigger, but it's not our fun knife. Then we're going to look at something bigger. This is a fun knife. But it's not the knife we're going to talk about today. We're going to be talking about my two biggest folding knives. Now, I don't normally go for the super, super big ones. I like a four inch blade and things like that. But Gold Steel Luzon. Okay, so this is... Now the whole thing is in... This is a marvelously big knife and it's super fun. Okay, this is the new colors for this year. The black coated blade, beautiful desert or whatever they call that. This thing can be waved open on your pocket. It can be thumb studded open and you can also flip it open. All of these things work fantastically for such a huge knife. Okay, and then it's got this extra lock thingy at the back if you want to use that okay so according to cold steel this is more of a tactical knife but i find it a nice knife to cut a roast okay now this is my other large knife this is an automatic knife it is pretty much well, it's got a longer blade and a slightly smaller handle than the cold steel. This is my AK-47. Oh, no, these things do not fit into frame. Okay, anyway, this is my AK-47 made in China. Pretend that it comes from Russia. Not really a bayonet, but looking like a bayonet with an extra safety knife. But this thing is super fun. Okay, I haven't used this for anything except for a braai every now and again. Everything looks like it should work. It's got the whole bayonet thing over here and over here. So maybe it will fit on something. But I don't know if I'll have to build a custom gun to make this thing fit. And this is dirt cheap. This is one of the cheapest knives yeah, I've bought in a... Well, just to get the steel, whatever steel this might be. And the wood and the things for this knife is actually quite a magical feat already. And look at this. For something with a six and something inch blade, this thing flies open. That's awesome. Okay, so that is super fun. And this is my fun knife for Fun Knife Friday. Oh, what I was saying. The only thing I actually use this thing for is taking it to brides. And then when somebody quite, I don't know unexpectedly say something like do you maybe have a pocket knife that i can quickly use instead of giving them something practical you say for sure i do and then you flip this thing out it's fantastic you hear mothers screaming kids crying meat shriveling oh this is fun okay that's enough rambling for one day um i don't know what i'm gonna do next maybe i'll show you something else Maybe not. Any case, stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Goodbye. Okay, so I'm just splitting some wood. We're going to start the fire now. Okay, this knife I made many years ago when I still thought to myself a knife maker. Now, this thing you just hang around your neck. It is quite heavy, but yes. Okay, so it started rusting. You see, from the sharpening and stuff, this pretty much, yeah, started to get a recurve. Okay, and then, look, that is self-made jumping over there. It's partridge wood, which is nice, but the finger joil I only did later. So you can see it looks like an afterthought. But this thing has now been relegated to the realm of only betoning through extremely hard and dense pieces of wood. Now you would normally chop this stuff or whatnot or put it on top of some kindling but I like betoning these things because it makes me feel like a winner. Okay this is my baton. You can see it's been eat, well, eaten up by a sharp spine. Now the spine 
this was also a piece of dry wood that I used. Um, but the spine was, is that other thing I made a few years ago, that horrible looking um, apocalyptic thing. Okay. You should never actually baton through something that's larger than your blade unless it's a super betoning knife. Actually, in real life, you should never really baton anything anyway. But every now and again, it's just fun to do it. Thank you.